Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome. My name is Trina, and I'm the owner designer here at Trina Killick Designs. And I teach other creative ladies how to cut, paint, and sell wind door hangers. But I'm coming with you tonight to show you how to paint a cute and easy bunny. Um, and I also want to talk about my inside scoop because it is now open for enrollment. Um, super excited about that. And we're going to get started. And as I'm painting, I'm going to be talking. And if you get to where you have any questions at all, y'all be sure to drop them down in the comments below. Hey, Miss Nellie. Hey, Miss Susie. How are y'all ladies doing? Um, I just rinsed these paintbrushes out. So, of course, I've got to make sure I get all that water out of there. So, I have something exciting to talk about, too, besides just my inside scoop. So, while you're on this live, I have my assistant, Christine, my wonderful, amazing assistant. She's going to be in the comments, and she's going to sometime during this live, um, I'm not sure when she's going to do it, but she is going to pick a winner, 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 chicken dinner, um, for to receive happy mail and what they're what you're going to receive is you're going to get this cute bunny that i'm painting with you tonight this week i'm going to be showing you all kind of different ways simple fast and easy ways that you can paint a cute bunny door hanger um right now i'm just using a very wide this is a one and a half inch paint brush y'all it's a flat tip brush and i just put down some apple barrel antique white Hey, Miss Vicky. Hey, Miss Freedom. Miss Teresa. Dale. How are y'all ladies doing tonight? So what I'm doing right now is I'm just putting a really like good base coat down with that antique white. And I want to talk to y'all about my inside scoop. I know you've been hearing me talk about it and you've been seeing me posting things on Facebook. And so if you're new to my page, you're probably wondering what in the world is the inside scoop? Kind of a funny name, I know. <laughs> but the Inside Scoop is my community of ladies, creative ladies, um, that has joined my a group. It's a private Facebook group, and it is a subscription group. But it's where I teach those ladies in there how to cut with using an amazing jigsaw and paint their own wind door hangers. I do have some bonus tutorials in there on how to actually set up an Etsy shop, how to um, set up a Facebook page. So we do hit on the business side of the door hanger world. So it's not just all paint, 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 paint. We do a lot of other things in that group. Um, so each month when you join the Inside Scoop, you will get two printable templates. And then I will teach you how to paint those um, two designs. We also, because I don't like to just stick with one thing, you know, those how you can, you know how they said creative minds, they have the squirrel brains to where they want to do all the things. Well, that's kind of me. I like to do all the things. I like to get my hands into all kind of new things and just, just try new and fun things. And I thought that doing a craft each month would be a good way for us just to kind of take a break, take a breather, and do something other than door hangers. So we do do a craft each month. And these are not just little itty bitty crafts, y'all. These crafts are really, really like money making crafts. Like you can sell them at craft shows, um, wherever you want to sell them at. So they are really, really fun. And... Um, I think that's one of my favorite things in the group is the actual crafts because I could, I'm a creative y'all. I have that squirrel brain where I'm here and there everywhere and doing different crafts each month. I mean, they're crafts like I've never done before. Crafts I haven't ever made before. So my ladies, they get to see the real deal when it comes to the crafts a lot because it's always my first time making it. And trying it so uh, they see me struggle with measurements <laughs> they see the real all the real stuff that goes on when trying to make something and figure things out 
and I think that it really helps them when they see things that don't work versus things that do work. And it just gives them a good idea on what not to do when things don't work out quite as well as um, quite as fast because we always figure it out in the scoop. We really do. Oh, my gracious. I walked up here and left my water downstairs because I over rinsed out all my brushes tonight, y'all. If y'all don't mind, hit that little button down below and sprinkle this across Facebook world. I would appreciate it. I'm needing some fun Easter ideas to do with the kiddos. This seems perfect. And this is going to be a really easy design. Um, let's see. Hello, Country Doors and more. Hey, Lisa. Um, how long is your group being open? Uh, it will be open till the 1st. Hey, Christina. Can't wait to see this coming along. Well, I'm super excited that you're here. Miss Sherry says, hello, everyone needs to join us in an awesome group. Oh, thank you so much, Miss Sherry. And if you're an insider, how about comment below and let them know, you know, if you like the group or um, how you feel about the group. I appreciate y'all's support. All right. So I think that's going to be it with that coat of paint. Again, that was the antique white. So we do have live Q&As in our group to where you can ask, you know, I go live in the group for y'all to ask questions. This month, we did a um, girls night in, and that was really fun. And my ladies in there, I cannot believe I left my water. My ladies in there, they suggested on us doing it again. So we, we have it down on the calendar to have another girls night in. So in March, we're going to do that again. And wait a minute, let me get this. The, I think the best thing about the inside scoop is the actual community. It is a place where you can be comfortable with posting your work and you're going to get really positive um, critiquing feedback and stuff on your, your work. Um, it's just an awesome place to be. I am at the Inside Scoop and the monthly template. Oh, yay, Miss Sherry. Thank y'all so much for sprinkling. I appreciate that. So what do y'all think the easiest design will be? Oh, I got to fly away. The easiest design will be for a beginner painter. What do you think the most go-to design is? Drop them down in the comments. Hey, Karen. What do you think the most easiest design will be? It's not a solid color. It's not like a like this isn't just it. And I'm not just going to like put highlights or not to it. There's something that I'm going to put on this. But I want to know what do y'all think if you was this if this was your first time ever painting what would you want to paint on it because you felt comfortable and you felt like that was probably your level on patterns and stuff patterns y'all polka dots there you go Miss Teresa polka dots now I'm gonna tell you polka dots is one of the easiest things that you can do to spruce your door hangers up but Polka dots are very loved, y'all. Polka dots will spruce it up, and it just catches people's eyes. Christine, through Monday, March the 1st. There you go. Um, a Easter egg painting. Hey, Miss Karen. All right. Springtime bunny theme. All right, so what I'm going to do now, y'all, is I picked out a couple of colors. That's pastels that just kind of reminds me of Easter. So I've got this poodle skirt pink. I've got a tropic orange, a lavender, a sea breeze. I don't have much of that. And then I'm going to lighten down a yellow. And I'm sorry if I sound funny, y'all. I feel like I sound like really, really funny. And I don't know what I do with my yellow, so we might not be using a yellow. So these are like some pretty spring colors. And I'm going to be putting all different color polka dots on this because one is easy and it's fast and it is super cute. And I'm going to start with this pretty pink here. Um, there's a rule of thumb when it comes to painting polka dots and it's the triangle method. And if you really look at this triangle method after you do it, you will realize that there's an actual, um, it's like if you cannot picture the triangles, you'll see that's kind of just like going in a line. But we always say it's a triangle method. So I would just grab it up my angle brush. This is one of my go-to brushes. Um, this is the three-quarter inch, and that's mainly my go-to size when it comes to my brushes. 
and I'm going to really wet. I'm trying to look in that camera. My camera's over here. <laughs> I'm going to really get all that paint up in my bristles. And um, we're going to go in for dots, y'all. So, y'all, my inside scoop, we're only going to open it three times this year. So, you're not locked in. You can cancel any time you get ready to cancel. You do not have to stay. Um, there's going to be, there's two options. I mean, not two options. There's three options for you. You can pay monthly, which is $37 a month. You can pay um, the six month option. That's a, uh, wait a minute, y'all. I can't remember. I think it's $185. Um, yes, I'm busting out the, the calculator, y'all. <laughs> Times six. It's $185. And then there's a year option. Wait a minute. Let's see. 37 times 12. It will be $444. But when you sign up for the year subscription, you get two months for free. So it will only be $370. When you sign up for the six month option, you get one month free. So did you paint a background color? Yes, Miss Karen. That is painted with the antique white. Um, so since I'm not... The triangle method, y'all, is where we would come here. And I guess I could use a different brush, especially since I don't have no water up here because I'm just brilliant like that, y'all. So $370 for one year, $185 for six months, and $37 for one month. Thank you, Christine. And um, you get two months free when you join yearly. You get one month, one month free when you join um, six months. So, uh, and I'm going to tell you now, I'm one of those, y'all, that I love, absolutely love to try new things. Um, just like I was telling y'all earlier during the cutting tutorial, I will hop on a live and plan a live with my ladies to try new techniques. Just like with this watercolor bunny here, I have never painted watercolor at all. And I wanted to try it. So I did not let fear get in the way of me trying something new. I said, I don't care if it's a flop. I was going to try it. And anytime that I can come up with something new and I'm not quite sure how to do it, or if it, do, if, if it is a flop, I promise you, I will be finding a guest that can come in and teach us. Or getting one of my insiders that knows how to do it to come live with us and show us how to get it done the correct way. <laughs> but I am not letting stuff like that hold me back from learning new things. I will take on new projects. I will take on new learning, like learning new painting techniques and just go with it. And hopefully for the bet, you know, hopefully it works out. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it don't. Um, but that's just who I am. That's who I am. I like just going and learning new things. We're going to add, we just added the lavender dot on here. Now we're going to add some of the sea breeze, y'all. This sea breeze is one of my favorite colors. Hey, Tammy. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. I have such a, my throat has been giving me a hard time for about a week now, a little over a week. Same Angle brush, three-quarter inch. All right, so right now, when you're hearing me talking about the triangle method, so this is what I'm talking about. <clears throat> you got these two dots here. So what you're going to do is you're going to envision a triangle with these dots. So if you was going to do a triangle out of these dots, where do you think your next dot needs to be? Right here. Because you're going to go from here to here to here. That's going to create that triangle. So we're going to come right here and we're going to start making a dot there. And then we're going to fill that in. The easiest way to make a dot, y'all, is to do a half of a circle. You're going to do like that half a circle. 
And then you're going to go and you're going to do the other half of the circle. And you kind of let that paintbrush kind of just roll like in your hand. Y'all know what I didn't do. I don't think I turned my Wi-Fi off on my phone. I don't think I did because I keep on seeing it getting, I keep on seeing it like messing up on me. Yeah, Dietra, it's $370 for one year and you get two months free, $185 for six months with one month free, or you can do the monthly, which is $37 a month. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my, well, I was going to get my yellow, but let's go ahead and use this Tropic Orange. I cut, you cut out three leaf clovers yesterday and I did good. Yay, Regina. Or you, I bet you did. I bet you did really good. We're always our worst critics, y'all. We are always our worst critics. And we always see every little flaw with our own work. But I, I bet you that it, they look amazing. I bet you they look amazing. All right, so your next step with doing dots, once you get this first triangle going, then you're going to build off of that triangle. So if you got this blue dot and this purple dot to make a triangle coming this way, you're going to want to put one here because it's going to come here and you're going to have that little triangle there. When you're doing dots, y'all, sometimes my dots, they are not always the same size, but you want to always try to get them as close as possible with your size. Um, and just kind of work with it and don't let it stress you out y'all because I mean it's just thoughts it's just paint and wood and Lord knows if I was to let things bother me when it comes to size or being perfect then I would not be making door hangers I promise you um, let me get my grandma yellow real quick well Here it is behind my computer. I thought I grabbed it. Deetra, Regina, she says, do I do stream yard trainings? I have not done stream yard trainings. Um, I'm actually just, I think I've only used stream yard a couple of times, but I can absolutely go in and teach you what I do know about stream yard because it's not, so far, I mean, it's not hard to use StreamYard. Um, but yeah, if I had people request to learn how to use StreamYard, I could absolutely touch base and, you know, like I said, teach you what I know about StreamYard. And I'm one that's, I'm really honest, y'all. If there's something that I don't think I know how to do or I've never tried it and stuff, I let you know. And if it's something that I know that I can't do, that's when I love to get some guests in the scoop to come in and teach us. Because let's face it, y'all, I don't know everything. And I don't try to hide that fact either. But I do know I love trying new things. So we're going to go with the yellow here. I did use the primary yellow by Deco Art, y'all. And I did lighten it with some white. I may I think I'm going to lighten that even a little bit. A little bit more. Y'all remember to sprinkle for me. And my assistant, she is in the comments. And she's looking and spying. And she's going to pick one lucky person to be able to re receive this cute little bunny here. That I'm splashing yellow paint on right at this moment. So what's going to happen this week, y'all, is tomorrow I'm going to be live at 11 o'clock. You're going to be able to find me live every day through the 1st at 11 o'clock and 5 o'clock. Um, and then I'm going to have some interviews with some of my insiders um, on some of those days. So you're going to probably get tired of seeing me and hearing my my voice. But um, like today I'm painting this. So tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock, I'm going to spruce this up and I'm going to show you exactly how you can add your bows or make a bow and then add a bow and then add your hanger to it. So I'm going to be sharing all that with y'all in the morning at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. 
Thank you so much, Miss Judy and Miss Deetra, Miss Vicky. Uh, Miss Sherry, I don't know. I really, I don't. Not unless I'm doing some shading and blending. I'll wet my brushes then. Um, but I don't. All right. So, like this one, I mean, I just rinsed it out and it's still kind of wet. So, I will damp, like, pat it off with my paper towel. How often do I go live? Oh, Lordy. Um, this week I'll be live until the first every day from at 11 and at five o'clock and probably in between some. Um, but I have scheduled to where I'm going to be going live every Tuesday and every Thursday here on, um, Trinaculic Design. So let's see, we've got, there was another color, right? Oh, the, no, I used a peach. Let me see. We got one, two, three, four, five. One, two. Oh, that's all my color. So we're going to start over. So I don't need any paintbrush. So we're going to come back with the pink. And we're going to put the pink right here. We're going to put that pink right here. But you can find a ton of my tutorials that I've done in the past under the um, the videos. Up under the, um, the video tab. That should have like photos and stuff like that and you should be able to see the video the videos as well all right so now let's grab the blue do y'all see how easy this is to do with just doing dots and it makes it it's like it just pops dots are just amazing y'all it's the most easiest design in my opinion if you don't overthink these dots now if you're one that overthinks it then dots can be very intimidating because if you're one that has to get them exactly perfect then you may not want to try dots. So let loose and don't try to make it, don't feel like it has to be exactly perfect because it really don't, y'all. And the more you do them, the easier you're going to get with doing your paintbrush and making the smoothness of it. Guy, you got him cut today. He is adorable. Looks like a bunny you would see in my yard. Oh, yay. I'm excited. If you paint, when you paint them, you've got to share with me. I cannot wait to see it. All right. So let's do, let's grab the purple. Oh, that's pink. I got all my paint brushes just laying over there, y'all, because I ain't got no water. All right. We said we were going to go with the purple, the lavender. And we're going to put that lavender right here. I want you to also notice that I'm making half dots. I'm making it look like my dots is like going off of my bunny. And it just makes it look like that bunny, you know, it just goes off of the bunny. I can't think of the word I'm trying to think of. But do I have anybody with any questions about the inside scoop, y'all? Trying to get that straight. Thank you, Miss Betty, and it is super easy to do. You just pick your, like, if you don't want pastel colors, y'all. Oh, Lord, y'all see that? I just went crazy with that dot. Going to come up here and try to fix it a little bit. Because this is going to somebody special. And I got to have it looking good. Can't send no warped up dots to somebody that was sweet enough to be on the live with me tonight. So we got to get it looking good. All right, so now let's grab let's grab that coral color again. Um, Miss Dietra, the link to sign up um is right is in the comments. Let's see, Christine, can you share the link with Miss Dietra if you don't mind, please, ma'am? So once you hit an area on your your design, this paintbrush feels this coming apart. Once you hit an area and you're not really sure, like, exactly where the next triangle would be, just kind of start guessing. Just do it in a, like, in an area that looks the best. Don't overthink it. Like, I wasn't sure about that one, so I just took it off that ear and just went with it, and it's, it's fine. All right, so I think I'm going to need, oh, we got to do a yellow dot. So let's do a yellow dot up here on the very top. And we're just going to kind of fill that yellow dot in right there. 
and let it go there. And then I think I'm going to come over here with the yellow dot and make it look like there's a, you know, there's would have been one coming off of the tail right there. And do we want to do another yellow one here? We could do a purple. Let's do a purple one there. Thank you so much, Jewel. Thank you, Dale. Um, Miss Deetra, how many tutorials a month? So each month you will get two printable door hangers. Um, printable templates, sorry. Um, two printable templates, and I will go live for each one of those designs. So you're going to get two live tutorials of me showing you how to print the two templates out for each month. And then we have a craft that we do. So I go live to show you um, how to do the craft. And like this month, we're doing the ladder tier tray thing. I don't even know if that's what it's called, but um, that's what I'm calling it. It's the ladder and you use it just like you would like the, like the tier trays. Um, so that's our craft for this month. And I'm super excited about it um, because I want me one. <laughs> so I'm ready to make that thing. And I've never made one before. So, like I said, y'all get to go in there and y'all get to see me and the whole learning process of how to how to just figure things out. Um, so I am super excited about the craft this month. And I did not bring I may have them on my phone. I can give you all a little peek, a little peek at what designs that we have this month. I do have the designs, but they're not, I don't have them colored in Procreate yet. So, um, so this is going to be one of our designs. This is a cute little duck in an egg with some flowers and some grass. Um, then our second design is going to be this super cute little lamb. And I will show you exactly how to paint those two designs, Ms. Deetra, and do the craft. Then I go live for a Q&A. You know what? I could just share with y'all. If you really want to know the schedule for the inside scoop, I can share with you really quick our calendar for this month because I just posted that today. And so like for Monday, we have a Monday gossip at 10 o'clock. That's where I'm going to be in the group and we're going to talk to each other. We're going to set our goals and we're going to just encourage each other and we're going to see what's going on with each other. And then on Tuesday, we're having our onboarding call for our new members that join. So hopefully you will be one of those, Miss Deb. Uh, or Miss D um, Deetra. Was it Miss Deb or Miss Deetra? So then Thursday, you're going to get your cutting tutorial. So I go live and showing you how to cut the designs for each month. Then on Thursday, the 11th, we're going to do the duck tutorial at 10 o'clock. Then on the 16th, we are going to be doing our craft. I'm super excited. Then on the 18th, we're going to be doing the cute little lamb tutorial at 7 o'clock. I think I need another coat on that pink and the purple. I'm proud of that curl, too. So right now, I'm just putting another, the second coat on these, y'all. Then the 21st is our girls' night in. That's where we're going to, if you want to grab an adult beverage and chit-chat with us and grab something to paint, we're just going to hang out. We're going to have a good old time with each other and just enjoy each other's company and be silly, whatever we want to do. And then on the 23rd is our live Q&A at 10 o'clock. So that is our schedule for March. So there is no lacking of communication. There is no lacking of having fun. There's no lacking of learning when you join the Inside Scoop. Um, you can learn as much as you want. As long as you're willing to do the work, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you join the inside scoop and it's an easy peasy process. Sometimes it's not, y'all. Sometimes things can get challenging. But the thing with that is when it does get challenging for you and you feel like, oh, my goodness, there's no way I can get this done. Um, especially if you're just wanting to start like a business and everything's super new to you, that can get stressful. But being inside the scoop with ladies that's dealing with the same issues as you may be really helps out, really helps you. Um, so, yeah, that's that's the deal with the inside scoop. It is 
you get a whole lot you really do and you're going to get two over two years of tutorials and stuff for um when you join the inside scoop you will get instant access to those over two years worth of tutorials crafts guests hand lettering modules i mean we cover all of that um coral 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 the winner has been picked who did you pick um when you're added in the group of hella c well who's the winner christine did i miss it christine says the winner's been picked joe and i don't even see it but if you sign up today um today tomorrow you will receive four bonuses those four bonuses is you're going to get um is it four or five Deidre, you're the winner yay so Deidre, i need you to message me inbox me your shipping information and um you're going to get this cute little bunny in the mail so let's see what was i saying i don't forgot what i was saying i'm so happy that Deidre got it um good lord that's what happens to me y'all i get happy and i forget what i'm saying <laughs> y'all know what i was saying where was i going i have no idea what i was saying woo, woo. everybody's saying congratulations ask away you're in karen awesome yes <coughs> ask away that is one reason i'm doing this live because i want to answer all of your questions and concerns when it comes to inside scoop oh the bonuses there we go so the bonuses you're going to get three hand lettering printable tracers a hand lettering tutorial by miss christy would create with christy you're also going to get a spring and summer template tutorial it's a super cute design by bethany with wayward whimsy and then you're going to get a watercolor tutorial showing you how we painted this bunny now you will automatically get the tutorial when you join of me painting it but we had an even amazing tutorial that was done with one of my amazing ladies in there miss natalie and we were side by side just like this and she was showing me teaching me how to do the watercolor technique um so that is going to be a bonus so if you don't sign up today or tomorrow then you won't be receiving that one but you will still have the one that I did when I was learning this one. Because remember, anytime I get in there and I don't quite know how to do something, I'm going to try it. Nothing's going to stop me. I'm going to try it. And if I can't do it, I'm going to find someone come in the group who can teach us and do it together. So that one's in there. And that wasn't, I didn't have a, I don't think it was a complete fail. But after watching Natalie's tutorial and like her coming on there and showing me that one looks way better than my first one. So, um, Sandy says you joined this morning. Awesome. And you will be um, receiving those bonuses. Um, once you sign up, you'll be able to, you're going to have to create your account. I also wanted to mention, uh, did I forget the purple on that one? Because it's still coming through. I did want to mention that if you're not comfortable with a jigsaw and you don't want to cut your own door hangers, I have partnered up with an amazing company called Home Creations, and they actually have my designs for the inside scoop people to be able to order those designs from them, and they will cut them and ship them to you, and they cut theirs with a laser cutter, and y'all, they have amazing prices, so if cutting is one thing that's holding you back that cannot hold you back any longer because i have got you covered i've got you covered and plus with my guidance and all the tutorials that i have with using a jigsaw y'all you will be able to learn so much when it comes to using a jigsaw and it's you will get comfortable and you will want to try it i'm going to get you itching to try to use a jigsaw and once you get comfortable doing it, the more you cut, you're going to just love it. You're going to love it. Do you sell blanks? I do not sell the blanks. I'm sorry. Me too, Deidre. I love to learn new things all the time. Um, from the Clemson fan to another. There you go, Miss Karen. 
I got to get dinner started. You ladies have an awesome day. Hope to catch you live again. I will be live again in the morning at 11 o'clock, and I'm glad that you was here, so thank you for joining us. I'm going to show y'all how to make a cute little bow for this door hanger, how to put the um, wire hanger on there, how to get it ready and set, ready to go on someone's door. Miss Dietrich's door to be exact, so. Um, so, yeah, any questions at all, ladies? Let's see. I'm going to put this right here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to grab me some white. I'm going to do some quick little highlight strokes. No, let's not do white. Y'all want to make this really fun and go with the colors that we used. We're going to go with the colors that we used. Because I haven't done this before and I want to try it, so we're going to try it. And hope for the best because that's the way I roll, y'all. I know I got that thing. Where's my paintbrush I like to use for my highlights? There it is. Alrighty, so we're gonna start with the lightest color. So then we don't. I'm gonna take this yellow. We're gonna come here. We're gonna come here. There. And there. And there. All right. I don't got no water. Let me see. Do I have? I don't know. I can use one of these little things here. Let me squirt me some water in this little thing, y'all. Oh, sorry. I'm close and personal there. I saw you have a template club as well. How much and where do I sign up? Miss Karen, it is $20 a month. And in the template club, you get three different templates a month. Um, and you, the members in there, they get to pick which one they would like me to go live and paint. So I'll paint one of those, one of those three templates in that group. And um, it's closed at the moment, but it will be open in March. Um, so now I'm gonna grab, let's grab that lavender. And we're just gonna come, we're gonna, we're gonna do highlights with the colors that we used, y'all. Just to see if we can make it more springy. See how how we like it. All right, so let's see. Now let's grab the pink. So I will be posting a lot more about the template club in March. Um, probably doing the same thing like I'm doing now. And talking all about it and doing some special lives for it. So y'all won't be missed out on that. Um, and, oop. Sorry about that. If y'all heard that, I got a notification on my computer. I did you, teacher. <laughs> well, yay. The template club is, is um, now if you like to have more tutorials, more like, um, how to's and stuff then um the inside scoop is way more when it comes to tutorials and stuff and like having a connection with other creators because there's a lot more going on is that all the colors we did the blue the coral color um but you do get some really cute designs in the the template club, coral color, and then we're done. So what do y'all think about having all of these other colors doing the highlights? I think it makes it look different. Now, you know what's really gonna make it pop? Is when we add that one amazing bow. I had to fix that because it was wonky. When we add a big funky bow, that's what's gonna bring all of those different colors together and it's just going to make it pop like crazy all right so ladies that's a wrap i hope you can join me tomorrow night i mean not tomorrow night tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock eastern standard time thank you miss Susie. and that was in less than 30 minutes well it was about 35 minutes and that's with me talking and stuff so this is a quick and easy design and it's cute so join me tomorrow at 11 o'clock so I can show you how to make a fun, funky bow. We're going to be adding some of this mesh tube to it. 
I've got pink, I've got yellow, I've got purple, and I've got blue. So we're going to have some fun making some funky bows. We're going to make this bunny amazing to where everybody's going to want it off of Miss Dietra's door. She's going to have the door of the neighborhood where everybody's going to be envy of her door. <laughs> um, but I hope you join me in the morning at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments or you can private message me. But I hope I see y'all in the scoop. All right, ladies, y'all have a fantastic night.